Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you from Klein Schmidt in Higginsville, Missouri. It's such a beautiful store and they got lots of cowboy boots, including work boots here as well, like this Tony Llama Boom Saddle Cowhide Waterproof Boot with a composite toe. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right, guys, so I am back on the road with Hondo Boots, stopping at a bunch of different stores along the way through Missouri, Iowa, and South Dakota. And I always love to come through these stores and check out the different kinds of boots that they are carrying. And one of the boots that uh, they wanted me to do a video on, because I always like to ask what they are most interested in promoting at the time, because you guys know I love supporting these family-owned mom-and-pop boot stores and western wear shops across the United States. Definitely consider uh, shopping small. Uh, let's take a closer look at this boot and give it a rundown. This is the Tony Llama Boom Saddle Cowhide Men's Waterproof Boot, and it features waterproof cowhide leather on the foot counter and the shaft. It features a wide round toe, and of course that is a composite toe, uh, not a steel toe, but it does give you some safety protection there at the toe. It comes in at 11 inches tall. And look at this really cool stitch pattern that they got. You know, it kind of has like a traditional stitch pattern in the middle, but then like sort of a typography look around it. It's really kind of cool. Down here for a heel, we got about a one and a quarter inch heel. And you can see that midsole that they have. It's probably something similar to an EVA that gives you a little bit more cushion. For an outsole, we got a rubber outsole. It's giving you a nice bit of tread as well for some good traction. On the inside, we have a cloth lining. Um, and it does give you a little bit of padding around there. And for an insole, we have a removable foam insole. Uh, that they're calling Drylex. I don't know what that means, but it is pretty thin at the ball of the foot area, but you do have a lot of cushion at the heel. Underneath that, you do have another insert that kind of feels like a thin styrofoam that is placed on top of the footbed. This Tony Lama Boom Saddle Cowhide Boot is also made in Vietnam, and it's coming in at $179.95 here at Klein Schmitz or at KleinBoot.com. Now it's time to try this on to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got the Tony Llama Boom Saddle Boots on. These are waterproof with a composite toe, and right after putting them on here, I'm extremely surprised about how light they are considering that they are a safety toe boot so they're really light um, not a steel toe so that's definitely going to keep the weight down uh, but still for a safety toe boot with a composite toe pretty light with the fact that it also has a rubber outsole that's pretty impressive how light they've made this boot and how much cushion this boot has too uh, with that insole, I was really skeptical, guys. I was like, man, that's super thin at the ball of the foot. I'm not sure how comfortable this boot is gonna be. I was super skeptical, but it feels like I'm kind of just standing on a bed. Like, it, there's so much cushion in this boot. I can't say how long it will last, but it kind of feels like it's gonna be comfortable all day long. The leather is pretty supple. Like I said, it's a very light boot. Um, I'd have to say that the fit is true to size. This is an 11D, which is what I would go with for this size. My true size is a 12B. Uh, this boot doesn't come in B widths, although they do have several B widths and A widths even here at Klein Schmidt. So this is a really big score that has a lot of different you know, uh, width sizes in their Western boots, which is kind of impressive um, and not the norm for Western boots nowadays. So if you're having a trouble just finding any fitting boot, you might want to come here. Let me give you the POV of this. All right, you got that wide round toe there, um, which kind of is normal for the composite toe work boot. 
and uh, I don't mind it at all. I like the wide round toe better than the wide square toe, in my opinion, and it's looking pretty good here as well. Also, that midsole, remember? Maybe that's giving me an even extra amount of cushion as well. So you have the insole, the cushion at the footbed, and the midsole there that's giving you even more cushion. So, guys, so much cushion in this boot. It's nuts. So this Tony Lama Boom Saddle Composite Toe Waterproof Boot was kind of a, a little bit more comfortable than I thought it was going to be, you know? Um, I'm kind of skeptical of the fact that Tony Lama is now getting boots made in Vietnam, but it's tough to make waterproof boots here in the US with, you know, the copyright and the trademark and everything about the Gore-Tex and waterproof technology. Some countries are the only countries that can produce it. So waterproof is sort of in a weird area right now. Thoroughgood is starting to come back and make some waterproof boots right here in the USA, but they're the only ones that I've noticed doing that recently. So the fact that Tony Lama is making a waterproof boot overseas does not surprise me because that's the only place where you have been able to do waterproof boots for the longest time. So the comfort of this boot is way better than I expected. There's lots and lots of cushion in this boot and uh, I was really skeptical of it because it was so thin there at the ball of the foot. You guys probably could um, noticed that in my voice when I was going through the rundown but when I put this boot on I was like wow that's next level cushion so for those of you out there who are maybe interested in really a lot of cushion while you're working uh, this might be a good way to go I can't give like my full opinion because like I said this is just a quick impression where I like to see the qualities of the boot and share them with you since there's really not that many ways for us to check out the qualities of this boot other than just a picture online. So that's the whole point of these videos is just to break down the details of the boot and show you guys a little bit more than what you can see there at home without having to go out to the stores and uh, try to see some for yourself. So I'm trying to save you guys a little bit of time and uh, this looks like a pretty nice option for those of you out there on a budget looking for a comfortable boot um, I'm not a huge fan of the mesh lining here uh, this is a boot that reminds me a lot of the Ariat Hybrid Rancher H2O like it looks very very similar especially how it's constructed on the inside um, with that lining both boots are made in Vietnam I would not be surprised if they're coming from the same exact factory um, it's a very very similar boot to that except this one has way better cushion this one is a lot more comfortable than the Airy Hybrid Rancher. So if you're kind of looking at those two being like, mm, not really sure, and you are looking for a lot of cushion, this might be a good way uh, to go for you if you wanted to try it out at a store near you or here at the beautiful Klein Schmitz. You can stop through here in Higginsville, Missouri, or visit them online at kleinsboot.com. I got a link directly to this boot down in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what you think of this Tony Lama waterproof boot down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Those Tony Lama boots, they got so much cushion. Helping you in the daily grind, getting you to push through. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other video that I did at Clive Schmitz. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here and I will see you next time.